here at Headingley. 12-4, the Leeds Rhinos lead the Wigan Warriors. And Wigan, with the words of their coach, Michael Maguire, ringing in their ears, are out and ready to play. Leeds just emerged from the dressing room now. Interesting, a happy man. Yeah, well, interesting to see the different uh, attitudes of the coaches. Brian McDermott just sat amongst his players. No words were hardly spoken. Didn't need to, really, the way that they split Wigan apart in that first 40. A little bit different in the away dressing room where Michael Maguire really did give it to his side. And uh, once again, and we often say, take your chances. And if Leeds had not had those forward passes, <laughs> they could have been 36, 40 points in front. Well, they're not, and that's why this game is so special. They um, they have the chance to hit back, but they're going to have to up the ante in the second half. Sam Tompkins gets us underway. 40 minutes ahead. Will it be Leeds? Will it be Wigan? Leeds in the box seat at the moment, ahead by 12 points to four. Brian McDermott doubtless have said more of the same. It was a near perfect first 40 minutes, apart from the fact that those forward passes denied them the tries. Badiris, who was brilliant in the opening half. Certainly is, and he's a man that they know they've got to shut down. See, that's the importance of a hooker, and effectively, Leeds have got two hookers there, but Shane's and the play of the ball, he's involved in that tackle. It's been a collision of heads here, I think, maybe some blood drawn. Yeah, yeah Hoffman, Hoffman, I think, is... Uh, he, he collided but as well, Hoffman. Having a, having a fit, fast player behind the play of the ball, whether it be McDearest or McShane, he's an advantage there now, they've gone with two here. You see, I think, the two Wigan players there once clash heads. Yes, it was Hoffman and Lima, and Hoffman's OK, yeah, but Lima, and he, he looked... Uh, he looked pretty grim, but he's up there in the marker position now, Lima. Here we go again. This is Ian Kirk. What? Move! And we've got a couple of headaches there, I think, for a few minutes. Sinfield with the kick high. He's got great height on it, and it's well positioned, but Tompkins heard after that. Right, let's get the half-time news, Bill. Eddie, the main concern for Wigan Warriors is the fitness of Mike oh, McAlorum, who's still oh, on the sidelines, no. came off midway through the first half with a shin injury, has had treatment, he's even had uh, attention Two. from the Wigan doctor, oh, he's still on the sidelines, I'm told oh, he will be able go. to go back on, but given that he was, he started like a house on fire this evening, part Three. of the reason Wigan started so well, but he hasn't go. featured since then, and they'll be hoping that he can get back out there. You'd have thought oh, that there wouldn't be any paint move. left on the walls of the Wigan dressing room, but I'm told that Michael Maguire's go. very calm at half-time, and maybe because they sense that they they still got a chance in this game when really they didn't deserve one after a pretty ropey uh, performance in the first half but they've still got the opportunity to get, get back in there and Leeds looking very much to continue where they left off in the first half maintain the same sort of intensity and take the chances that come their way if they come their way they might be calm but it was a very vocal half-time address by Michael Maguire how close was Brent Webb to just stepping on the whitewash there about an inch and there again, we saw the confidence that's running through this uh, Rhino's outfit with the ability to offload. None of this, to get up the jump and let's just try to get the, the opposition half. It's a very physical display from Leeds, isn't it, tonight? Yeah, the defence has been strong and leading the way has been Danny Baderas. He's been changing the style. He's left the Wigan defence totally confused. Baderas has got Hoffman after him. Hoffman and Carmont deal with the threat. That's the last. Just over halfway. Expect another high one from Sinfield. There it goes. A bit too deep, though, this time. It'll Although bounce, so. after it. It'll bounce. bounce after this. The bounce will beat everybody. Can't afford to do that, and you can expect that all the way through this second stanza. Kevin Sinfield will be saying, give it to me, and I'll just put it way up there in the floodlight region. First, move! Way leads, go. Thomas Lulawai, dummy half for Wigan. Two, move! Back in at dummy half again, Lulawai. Oh, knock on here by... Sean O'Loughlin, high fives for McShane and for Ben Cross, who wants to get on with it. Oh, he's pushing and shoving, they wouldn't release the football, and uh, it's mainly handbags at the moment. 
you know, an interesting feature was that when Wigan had the possession, and this is where it all started, and uh, surely McShay was interfering, and that's what Sean O'Loughlin said, but Eddie got it right. High fives all around, give me the ball. No, he's not having it. Just got a little bit excited. Well, I know you're saying that um, Wigan have lost uh, McElorum and uh, Leeds have got two hookers out there. Thomas Ulawai is New Zealand's international uh, I accept that, but I'm just saying that Leeds are playing with two effective hookers at the moment on the field. That's how the game may have changed at the moment. Anyway, it's a, it's a Leeds head and feed at the scrum as a result of the O'Loughlin knock-on that the referee has finally sorted out. The point I was trying to make there, Ed, is that the, the substitute, Brett Finch, you know, he took the ball up as though he was a forward. He's supposed to be out there trying to organise things. Boy, they need someone quickly. Badiris gives it to Ian Kirk. Better defence, Lulawai and Lima. There is uh, Finch. Referee shouted for Lulawai to stay out of it. He wasn't standing square. Now, will Leeds take the two on offer here or will they go for broke? Oh, I think they'll go for the try. This will be the tap and let's get a no, noise going, going for the for two. two. I reckon they get them on the rack and keep it around the way that they've been playing. I was shouting to you. I was shouting to you. Well, the official, Richard Silverwood, saying to uh, Thomas Lulawai, I shouted to you, mate. On the goal line, lads. He thought that he was uh, line, in a position, the second marker. On the goal line. Just have a little bit of a chat. On the goal line, lads. Goal line. Still chatting away. Is, uh, no, he, was, he was not in line. Yeah. Referee wants Wigan back over the goal line and the players are refusing to do it. Well, Sinfield bang in front. 12 4, it goes to 14 4. You see where you were coming from with they'll probably run it because uh, 8 or 10 points still means that Wigan have got to score twice. Yeah. We must think, though, Eddie, in the first five minutes of the second half, we're going to hurt the freshest. It would be difficult to score against them. Two points at that time, it's half a try, and maybe try our luck as the game goes on here. Demoralised Wigan, just stop any momentum that they want to build from that half-time talk. Well, he's never lost back-to-back -back matches before, Michael Maguire, but uh, there's a ten-point gap to make up unless he is going to suffer that fate tonight. Move! Go. Well, you never know, we've had a little bit of a argy-bargy. And often lifts the side and, uh, and he's lost it. He's lost possession and there's the Arjibaji again. And uh, this could turn the game. The leads at the moment are controlling it, but it can often turn around just by losing your cool, Mr. Cross. You know what, though? I think the Leeds players are objecting here to the tackle technique that's gone on. They can only imagine that the player was bent back into an awkward position, and that would be how I would read. There was no way 13 players would congregate around the situation unless they think something unfair had gone on. Yes, they've seen something, the players, haven't they? No, it's obvious. It's, uh... it's Clarkson who goes down. Well, someone's, someone's gone in to the, to the knee. Watch someone come in to the knee. Now, that is not right. It's Jeff Lima. Yeah. Lima says, right, I'll take full advantage. That is shocking. I think we'll hear a little bit more about that, and not surprisingly, the Leeds players not happy with the technique that was given in the tackle. Man held, legs just hanging, dangling there, and Lima took it away. Jeff Lima has attacked the standing leg below the knee. Below the knee. Yeah, OK. He's off. Well, it's going to be sin I think. Yes, it's a sin binning. Jeff Lima has uh, done exactly what Phil described. Has he put it on report? He doesn't need to. It's uh, it's it's a yellow card. Yeah. He's dealt with it, and it's up to the disciplinary uh, committee to have a look at that incident. He shakes his head, doesn't believe he's done anything wrong, but uh, Richard Silverwood, on report from his two touch judges, has sent him to the sin bin for ten minutes. Watch it again. Bang. And that is not allowed. This should be tasty. Nowhere to hide now, boys. 
Well, Leeds coming forward here with Badiris and finds Burrow, who tries to burrow underneath two defenders. And Badiris taking them on right at the middle and getting the penalty because they hadn't retreated the 10. Great work. And again, there's some chuttering going on about the tackling. The experience of Danny Badiris is quite superb. Picked him out, went straight through. Well, they took the two before. And they're going to take, two again. They're take the two again, which is good because I can tell you that we, we had an email from Stuart Cummings last week and dangerous contact has now been added to the list of areas where a sin bin can be used and dangerous contact can include chicken wing tackles, grapple, leg twists, attacking the standing leg, so we just saw that being used there. Stuart Cummings, of course, who is the uh, head of the referees, the match officials director, to give him his correct title. Ten metres. Ten metres. And I'm glad that they have added that, because uh, we do not want that creeping into our game. It can... The risk of someone being injured is very high indeed. Well, that's two penalties, two half tries, makes four points. And uh, now there is the 12-point gap. Wigan don't have to score twice to win, they have to score three times. And they don't look like it, I must say. Don't look anywhere near it. Now a few of the Wigan players also sort of uh, just chatting to the official. There's Clarkson. Oh, he would have felt that as well. That's uh, something we don't want in our game. Lulawai running the ball back strongly. And Jeff Lima, I think he's having a look at a monitor over there and just looking at that incident again, he sh again shakes his head. Great pass wide from Watkins to Ablett. He's done a fine job, I think, in the centre tonight, Ablett. We did all sorts of problems, and uh, the impetus that the Leeds have at the moment, it, it, especially with the likes of Kevin Sinfield, just buzzing around, controlling things out there, taking the first receiver, and then he'll get into the kicking game. You can see a little chip over the top later on in this game, and it's Badiris that goes with the high one. Chase is good. Tackle, it's superb. Yes, it was a great chase from Clarkson. Waited and waited, but now it's Leeds who are caught, not standing square to play the ball. They certainly decided to kick high, haven't they, in the second half? And that's with, I think, with a view to giving Sam Tompkins a standing start every time he catches the ball. So he's not running, he can't use his pace or his strength to get away from the Leeds defenders. Tell you what it is, we're watching tonight, it's a very belligerent Leeds performance. They're not going to be as bullied, are they, by Wigan? This is Harrison Hansen. Don't forget Wigan down to uh, one man short. Hull have gone in front against Castleford. Lulawai wants a quick play of the ball from Clarkson's tackle. Gets it. Here's McIlroy and back on the field. Lulawai is the dummy half. Tompkins, that's Sam Tompkins. Hoists it wide. And the ball is knocked back and is picked up by Sam Tompkins and the tackle count is wiped down. Six more tackles here for the Wigan Warriors. Lulawai and the short side trying to dance his way towards the line. Held up short. Sam Tompkins. This is Coley. Coley trying to just use brute force and ignorance going up the middle. Webb hanging on to him. Could have been penalised, so could McIlorum for pushing him out of the way. Finch, great work in defence by Ablett. Came out of the line on the angle, didn't allow Finch any opportunity or the room to move. Oh, That's Hoffman, great defence. Hammer to the ground, Lulawai and Sinfield. Here's Finch again, slides the kick in. Burrow is there, goes round the back of the post, Burrow, and does brilliantly well. Neat little kick as well, but well spotted, wasn't it, by the little half-back, Rob Burrow. Reads the game ever so well, he's bounced back to his best form. Senior. Neat little chip through, but the reading of that. You know, Wigan didn't become champions, Eddie, because they were easy to beat or because they gave away games with 30 minutes to go. They're going to make Leeds work harder than they have so far this season. It'll be a great test here now for the Ryaners to see whether they have got the potential to be a grand final side after what's been a disappointing start to the season. Bailey driving forward on the ground, and that's McShane with the kick. That's a great kick. Certainly is, and that's one thing that 
the coach Brian McDermott knows that this substitute Paul McChain brings to their side. He has a very good kicking game. Jump into the dummy half position, make the choice himself. That's good another, run. Bad, another bad run from Goulding. Broke a couple of tackles there. Carmont. Leeds have got to make sure that their discipline is good. It has been throughout. Not give away a penalty. Hoffman taking it at uh, Ableton Watkins. Carmont gives it to O'Loughlin. Ball was slightly behind O'Loughlin. To reach back for it, just lost the momentum. Slight shocking pass. Shocking pass. They really are off the boil at the moment. Lulawai with the kick. That's high. Too deep. So the ball easy. is able to claim it easily. Decent chase. Joel Tompkins leading the way. This is senior. Now, Wigan are hunting the mistake from the Leeds Rhinos, and mistakes have been few and far between for Leeds tonight. Watkins. Won here in Super League last July, 26-12. And they won the grand final qualifier to set up their first Old Trafford appearance since 2003. Oh, big hit. <laughs> Good stuff, my friend. Yeah, finished it well then. That was Lulawai hit. Last tackle, they're still inside their own half. The kick from Sinfield. Over the top of uh, Too strong. Tom Tompkins, and it will run dead just... Well, he won't mind it either. He knows that they can just line up on that 30, and the, the way that their defence has been strong, they'll be confident of uh, maybe keeping Wigan down in their own half, even on to the final tackle. Stand up! Hold, go! McAlorum infield to Andy Coley. Joe! Look how quickly they, they move go! out very, Charlie, very quickly on, indeed. The, the Leeds defence that they're virtually forcing Wigan into one one out football and they force the error from Ryan Hoffman and he now is Jones Buchanan clawed to the ground by Harrison Hansen that's the zero tackle this is a golden opportunity for the Rhinos senior Badiris gives it to Ryan Bailey Badiris is scheming at dummy half again gives it to skipper Sinfield Back it goes to Webb. Danger every time he gets it. Haraki. Haraki's lost the ball. What an opportunity blown. Oh, he knows it too. Brian McDermott knows that that perhaps could have wrapped up the game. He really has been a thorn in the side of this Wigan outfit as a fullback, Brent Webb. It was a beautiful pass to him, Haraki. Came up with a couple of shockers in the first 40, did Webb. It's very impressive defence by Wigan, though, with 12 men for the last few minutes. You can't tell that they're outnumbered. They've been in control of most situations. I know they had somebody then on Iraqi. Really, really have had to uh, up their effort. Now, whether that will take something out of them in the final quarter is quite interesting. The Rhinos this season and in previous have been excellent in that final 20 minutes of game, Eddie. They really have taken games and scored freely in the final 20 minutes. And one of the features of their performance tonight has been their speed of defence coming off the line so quickly to stop Wigan getting a roll on. Well, a couple of times this year, you know, the, the Leeds defence, it, it was a big problem in regards to... Some would go up, others would hang back, but tonight it's a united front. They really have worked hard. Again, Lauren pops it up to Coley again. He's hit by Jones Buchanan and Senior. Hoffman withdrawn. Farrell comes back on. There's Tompkins. That was flicked. It was almost an attempted charge down. Ryan uh, Hall can run it back for Leeds. And gets the ball away to Callum Watkins. That was risky. Watkins. Ooh, nearly through. Good shot. To Thomas Lulawai got to the legs. Lulawai, big hit by O'Loughlin. Madeira's waiting again. Pops it up to Bailey to take it forward. Madeira's wants more and finds Sinfield. Haraki. Oh, he's lost it again. again. That was a big hit, though, by Finch. That really was a big crunch time. And he's not well. He's good, a little bit better, isn't he, Brett Finch? He's about half the size of the man he's tackling. 
This really was crunch time. Bang. Oh, it's George Kerman. George Kerman gave him one in the uh, in the face. Not Come seen on. by anyone until that moment. It certainly makes contact, doesn't it? Not a swinging arm, more of a grab. It's a grab, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's an accident. Yeah, I think he's put his finger in his arm. No, I'm not saying it didn't hurt. And it, not only schnozzer. Well, Haraka, uh, Haraki, rather, is um, he's on his feet. It might have been a, a stray finger, Brian. You're, you're absolutely right. Is that a look? He said it's accidental. Well, Haraki, this is his seventh appearance in a row, by the way, formerly with uh, Mr. Noble and the Crusaders last year. Good player. Very good player. Very competitive, aggressive. This one, this one. No, zero tackle there, Bob. I thought it'd go well in Leeds. As long as he doesn't have a finger in his eye, go even better. Is the nose the problem at the moment? Yeah. Are they trying to stop the bleeding? Yeah, out, you you know. could be right there. We're going to try to stop the bleeding. Hull, uh, all square against Castleford, the 12 yeah. apiece. Apparently, Richard Owen has scored for Hull. His first try for uh, Castleford, sorry, his first try since, um, since he uh, had that awful broken leg last year. And on his comeback, he's got a try for Cass. We'll have a report on that match in the Super League Extra Time, which follows this match here. But it's getting to that period where Wigan realise they're going to come up with something different and maybe Sam Tompkins will be pushed up, taking the first receiver. A fortnight ago, of course, when uh, Sean O'Loughlin, he took that standoff position against the Huddersfield Giants. He was nothing short of fantastic. But the league's defence, they've chopped him down, giving him very little opportunity to be creative tonight. The storms to flow, the Leeds medical staff. Look at the way the Leeds are flying off the defensive line. Hull KR, 34-6 down to St Helens and in big trouble. This is a tremendous display from Leeds tonight. Yeah, they're not giving them an inch to move, and then the court offside. Kali Lulawai, I think, was loitering with yeah. intent. <laughs> he got to talk about getting out of the blocks. I think he went, went before <laughs> Lachlan could regain his feet. Look, there it came. Like an express train. Run away. I'm going to be careful now, Leeds. Uh, it's a convincing lead, but they can't they just fall apart. Well, the city of Kingston upon Hull won't be too happy tonight. First, move! Go! McIlorum to O'Loughlin, Lima up the middle. Well, this is where they've set to get to, Eddie, and now two players to get to there, and they've got both left and right options, but I suspect it's going to come here to Sean O'Loughlin. McIlorum instead gives it to Finch, and then the short ball was never on. Ablett's big body, and he deserves all the praise. He didn't shirk it, Ablett. Oh. Oh. Never oh. on to Liam Farrell. Yeah. But they're spotting it, aren't they, Leeds? Obviously done a lot of hard work watching the video, but they're coached by McDermott, and it has paid off. He's well at Haraki again, taking on Finch. It's been superb play, you know, by Leeds. They, they do utilise the short blind side to great effect. Bailey to halfway for the Rhinos. Tackle number four. Badiris gives it to Sinfield. He finds Burrow. Just stepped into and then out of the tackle by O'Loughlin. And then O'Loughlin gets him as he made the half break. Sinfield wants it on that blind side. He's got it. Up it goes. High hanging kick. Here comes Hall and Senior. Tompkins drops it. That's all you need. That is rugby league. The coaching staff Pressure. are getting excited. And the fans be. are getting excited. And the players are getting excited. Not the best effort. He went early. You can see he was on the downward uh, downward track. But the pressure, and he will be happy. If that blow gets out of the way. <laughs> That's Rob Oates, who's uh, he's on the commercial side here. He's not... <laughs> He's not the, uh, anything to do with the coaches, but he's a huge fan and delighted with the fact that uh, Sam Tompkins dropped the ball. 
think he fronts up the commercial, doesn't well, he? Well, it's great, isn't it, when your senior management have a passion for the game, and, and like right, Rob does, and uh, that's good to see. Sinfield. Ablett knows there is a chance here for the Rhinos now. He's had a big game, hasn't he, Ablett? Not only in attack, but in defence, as we witnessed a few moments ago. Bailey drives it in underneath the sticks. Two away! Badiris waits at dummy half. Back it comes to Rob Burrow. Burrow will fire the pass to Brent Webb. And Webb will score for Leeds. And he's there again, Rob Oates. The cheerleader, he'll end up out in the field next. But it's right a it. great drive from Brent Webb. Well, there was a, a rumour knocking around the heading of the ground before the match that this fellow was not 100% and might actually miss the game. I bet they're glad he isn't out of it, because that's a terrific try. Yeah, and he's had a and fine... And he could be the match winner. Yeah, and he's had a fine game as well. Way back in 2006, he was classified as the world's best number one. And the high kick yet again from Kevin Sinfield. Boy, the skipper has played his part as well in steering this Leeds outfit to a very commanding lead. Super dummy, shakes off, second effort, in for the try. He's back in top form. Struggled, 2008, missed quite a few games because of a back, a back injury. Here he comes. <laughs> I want the glory, and boy, celebrate. Well, James Lowe's applauds. Brian McDermott sits on his hands, and Rob Oates just celebrates like a good one. He'll have a bit of living down to do, I think, in the office next week. Mind you, as Phil says, if you're behind the team off the field, you're behind the team on it. Too true, spot on. Got a fine match, this fella. Four from four. Great, great kick from Sinfield. Brian, if you're coaching a side now to play against Wigan, having seen the difficulty Amos Roberts had at fullback with the high kicks against Huddersfield and the two that Sam Tompkins has put down today, do you think the high kick's the best way you can hurt Wigan? It's going to be part of your thought process, isn't it, Phil? Because what we've seen is a couple of errors from Sam and when Amos Roberts has been there, it's uh, been a tough ask for them. Uh, and also, it gives you the chance of your ch kick chase team to get down there with a standing start with very attacking player-minded players, so it's a great tactic. That was a fantastic chase, though, from the kickoff. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four, five were in there. Big contact. But we're going to have to be very careful. They don't do anything silly, and they have. They have. It was McElorum's high shot on Kylie Lulawai. Finch is pushing them away, saying, look, calm down. Got a bit excited, didn't they? Lima came in for good measure. But McElorum was the first impact, and there you see it. Picked up very quickly by Richard Silverwood. Calm things down. Kevin Sinfield say we'll just boot it downfield and we'll this apply the pressure. Come. And there'll be a lot of chatting out there. They'll be saying, have a little look at the scoreboard. Just have a pause. Have a look. Look at the scoreline. It's emphatic. Without now. They only uh, scored one try against Warrington last week, Wigan, and they've only scored one try tonight against the Leeds Rhinos. Are we seeing a, a significant couple of games in the course of this Super League 16 over the past week? And uh, Sinfield finds Burrow, finds Webb. There's danger all over it when Webb has it. This is senior, this is Ryan Hall, he's in touch. But again, the ease that they are stretching this Wigan defence. Webb's ripping them to shreds down the yeah. left-hand side. See that he's uh, got his foot on the whitewash, well spotted by the touch judge on that far side. But this has been a, a tremendous performance. They've worked as a unit. And it just shows you the quality. He really is back to it. As I say, 2008... Brent Webb struggled with a, a back injury. It's taken him a long time to get back to the international start of fitness and skill factor, but he has shown it tonight. Go! Go! Move! 18-point defeat last week to Warrington. 18 points so far here tonight against Leeds. 
18 points, the worst defeat under Michael Maguire so far. A repeat performance that he wouldn't want. Oh, now then, here's a break on. And that's uh, Liam Farrell. Trouble is, there was no one there to back him up. There's a lone ranger then. Finch, Tomkins. Little dab over the top from Tomkins. Brilliantly done. Sensational try from Tomkins. Well, we have named the March Tribe the month tonight, and we have seen a few contenders for April's Tribe the month already. That try had the wow factor. Brilliant, but great work from this fella. Powell got through, no one there. We had the common sense to make sure that they still had possession. That was really, really good, hard, solid work. But this is a touch of brilliance. We wondered when they had to bring this kid up Ask a few questions, and boy, that's a nice answer. Still plenty of time to go. Leeds cannot sit back on their laurels. Tomkins, who scored the try, and Tomkins improves matters. It's 22-10. They're back within two scores. Well, that showed Michael Maguire and Brian McDermott what that young man is capable of. There have been some fantastic skills on show here tonight, all round. Beautiful, wasn't it? The balance on this guy really oh. does excite me. And, of course, all the viewers and, and the fans here, even the Leeds what? fans, they would have uh, enjoyed that because ball, that was sheer skill. After them. Yeah. And it's his 50th career try for Sam Tompkins, we've just witnessed there. Prescott will run it back for Wigan. Now then, they've got 14 minutes to rescue the match, can they? Oh, yes, they can. But if Leeds keep doing the things they've been doing, what we saw there, and Phil mentioned it at the back end of the first half, a few of the Leeds players tired in the last 10 minutes. Now, if you tire against this Wigan team, with the starlets that they've got in there, Farrell's prepared to make breaks, Tomkins can make breaks, both Tomkins can make breaks, and Finch is very clever. You, you, take, you take time off this game at your peril. Finch it's a short ball to Carmont, good tackle by uh, Carl Ablett, though, that was. It's a shame that Carmont couldn't replace it, because Finch was in the inside. Here goes Lee Mossop up the middle, that's a good tackle by Jamie Jones Buchanan. Lulawai just pumps the ball into the corner. Ryan Hall will have to run it back. Great kick. The chase is good as well. First, move! Well, they've certainly up the ante, that is for sure, Wigan. Imagine what a try can do to your confidence and the skill factor, but uh, Carmont's no injured, he's hobbling. Surrender! Burrow goes down on tackle number three. Sinfield waits. Cross will drive it straight at Jeff Lima. Badiris again cuts out one, finds Haraki. Here is Callum Watkins. Has to go around Carmont. Hangs on to the ball. Move. This is where tackle could have been a flop then by Carmont. This is where the Leeds players, the, the ones that aren't feeling the pinch, okay. got to stand up and be counted. It's not the best kick. No, uh, it, it's was a little... from, it was from McShane. They got in a bit of a tangle then. That's a great Move. defensive effort. Right. He's worked hard, oh. Rob Barrow. It's uh... Castle for 20 points to 12 up. Surrender! They're not going away, Castleford, are they? Said at the top of the show tonight, they're not the flash in the pan. Now they've shot quite a few people this year. Got a good outfit, working very, very well for each other. As we've witnessed tonight. Now then, Brett Webb, he won't be standing too deep. Maybe a kick over the top, that's good play. Joel Tompkins going on the outside, the ball is flicked back. He's picked up by Amos Roberts. What? Goes down on the last. Gotta be a is working Go. his socks off. Yeah, the it's a tremendous game. He's got to get it some high till they've got to risk it. They're running on the power play. Finch bounces off Haraki, then gets the kick in. Now then, that will run dead. Yes, it will. Senior with all the experience, just allowing that to go over the dead ball line. It wasn't a bad option either. It was put under pressure. Well, they certainly have not thrown the towel in, and that will, will please Michael Maguire, at least. Here's Jay Pitts. Move. Time is their big Go. enemy, as well as the scoreboard. Cross. Joe! Move! Share the work. Go. Captain just 
leading them by example. Up the tackle by Brett Finch. See Kevin Sinfield shouting out the orders, saying, come on. Webb to Sinfield. Gets away from Mossop, gets the ball away to Burrow, who changes the direction of the attack. This is really dangerous, isn't it, Rob Burrow, when, when the sides are tiring. So low to the ground. Oh, big hit there by a lock. What smash and grab that was. Lima put Kirk on his backside then. Sinfield was under pressure from Mossop. It's a towering kick again. Collected this time, though, by Sam Tompkins. But Dearest this time misses a tackle. Senior though comes yes. back to help out. Well, that's, got to, that's got to be a penalty. Stand up. Well, your fault, <laughs> Sam. The referee says it was Sam Tompkins' fault that all that happened. Go. Here's Tompkins again. Well, he's touched him. Put a hand on him. Well, he went and touched him. He went straight at Burrow. Yep, uh, done the ten. Fullbacks not at home. Chip over the. Top is there, now he's going back his web. Lula Wise weighing the options up both ways. Comes to Brett Finch. Finch just uh, prepared to dink it over the top of Brent Webb, but that will stand in. No, it won't. I was going to say that will stand in the angle there, it won't. Well, that's the second occasion he's utilised that kick, and I think it would have been far better off, as, as Leeds have shown in the second half, from their skipper Kevin Sinfield. Give it some height. It's created also the problem for Wigan, and yet they're not doing the same for the Rhinos. Kirk will take it forward again. Carmont and Lee Mossop in very quickly. 12 points the difference, nine minutes remaining. This is Jay Pitts, thought about the offload again. Move! Wait! McShane, Huraki, and Webb again. Surrender! Stand up four! Go. McShane infield to Burrow. Short ball. Oh, is dropped. Was dropped then by Ben Cross. That was the mistake Wigan were looking for. They'll pack the scrum quickly, or at least they'll form it. And they didn't have to do that. They really didn't have to have Rob Burrow just bringing it forward on when when they just a kick down that blind side or maybe the high kick in the air. Nothing wrong with going early. You don't have to wait until the fifth. Clock is stopped for Wigan, for Wigan's benefit, they formed the scrum. St Helens have beaten Hull Kingston Rovers, witness 34-16. Suddenly getting a bit of home comfort there, aren't they? That's two in a row. Joel Tompkins, this could be two defeats in a row for Wigan. Move! Go! Roberts, Sam Tompkins. He's there again, that man, oh, Danny Badiris. Oh, oh, Tompkins is asking the question of the referee. Ben Cross shouldn't do things like that, to be fair. Move. I know he niggles them, oh. Sam Tompkins, he niggles every team he plays against. You can't take the law into your own hands. Here he is again. Finch, short ball, Hoffman. Well watched all the way there by Sinfield. They've been outstanding tonight, Leeds. Finch again. Flat pass, Mossop gets it away, Finch picks it up on the half. Oh, what a take that was. Brilliantly. Here is Prescott. Valuable ground made, but ten metres away they are on the last. Finch is screaming for it, will he get it? No, Lachlan on the blind side. Lachlan, long pass wide, and Goulding will get it in the corner for a try for Wigan. What an effort. He's not given it yet. I think he's got it down, though. If he's got that down, he's a genius. Unbelievable take. It he went very low, didn't he? From there, he went, look how low he was. Foot's in the air, that's right. On the whitewash, that's T.R.Y., what a great effort. It's a looping pass out wide, and Goulding will be given the nod on this. This is the T.R.Y. one. And it's the same corner that Jamie Foster scored the try of the month for marching. And there's another contender. We've seen some fantastic tries tonight, haven't we? And that was a great effort from Daryl Goulding. Only his uh, third try of the year. Superb pass, wasn't it, from O'Loughlin? Just came in. Watkins just got caught slightly. Squeezed in. That's a fine effort to finish off in a tight corner. Well, what he a knows kick this is. What he a kick coming up here. What a kick. He's missed it. 
that would have given them the chance of getting back at least a point or for a point as it is the gap is eight but Goulding a terrific try from him in the corner still six great, and a half minutes to go great pass though wasn't it <laughs> did well to get it in took the gamble great finish you know, this will be deep into the corner it would have been so different had Sam Tompkins kicked that goal. That yep. was massive. I thought the sense of relief from the Leeds players when they ran back here to restart play. Great kick down into the corner to restart, but they did look flat, really, in the five minutes before that. Nervous when Burrow what? threw the pass to Ben Cross. They were hoping that the Go. time was going to tick faster, but I think now with eight-point gap, they should be safe. Go. People might be Move. wondering why Sam Tompkins oh. is kicking the goals. I Go. certainly was. Remember Paul Deacon, Pat Richards, and also Josh Charnley missing for Wigan tonight, who have been doing the kicking all season. So three frontline kickers. And I'm just being told that uh, Sean Long sent off at the KC Stadium for Hull FC. Castleford ahead, 20 points to 18 there. Finch, Finch gets it away. Joel Tompkins tries to get away from Burrow. He just, he just is there and cannot be shrugged off, can he? Stuck to him like glue, didn't he? Finch, that's another poor kick from yeah, Brent Finch. I, I, I don't know what's going through his head. And he's watched Kevin Sinfield put the ball up into the air, but he's limping away now, is Brett Finch. He's, I think he's 100%. That wasn't the best kick from him, a man of his quality. Well, he's, he's had three on the trot, and, and really it's applied no pressure, and it, not allowing his, uh, his own side to get downfield and apply it. It's completely the opposite. I mean, they have peppered Sam Tompkins tonight. And then when he's got it, they've battered it. Wait, Five minutes no, remaining, eight no. points the difference between the two sides. Cross was hit hard oh, then by Thomas no. Lulawai. Oh, Lulawai no. oh. shot away from the tackle and the incident very quickly. <laughs> Ten metres inside oh. the Wigan half. No. Badiris gives it to Burrow, not to okay, Sinfield this time. The kick this time is flat, going towards... Dead ball line, but no, it didn't. It's a great kick from Burrow, and Tompkins has to run it back down to Bill. Any problems late on for the Rhinos, and a worrying sight with Ben Cross coming off the field immediately after that tackle. I'm not sure if it's Thomas Ludewise hit that had the effect, but he came up with his left arm dangling by his side and immediately signaled to the sidelines that something had gone. Uh, whether it's a, a dislocation or muscle problems of Ben Croft was certain from the moment it happened that he had to come off and that it was something serious. So that, given the injury problems uh, Leeds have already got in that department, is a worrying sight for Brian McDermott. It is, Bill, you're right. Four minutes to go here. That's a worrying sign for Wigan and their supporters. But here they come, trying to wrestle this game away. It's Farrell again, who gets the ball wide. Joel Tompkins has a hack forward, will try and win the race with Webb, and Webb will just pat it dead. Well, amazing, enterprising play by Wigan. For the Where's very... it been? Where's it been tonight? Well, to be fair, I just get the impression that Leeds perhaps are a little bit tired. This is a wonderful effort, but Brent Webb just knew he had the legs. And the answer to the question, where's it been, I think the answer is that Leeds have been so good tonight, they've snuffed them out. Yeah, you're right, Eddie. He hasn't had many opportunities. He's been incredible, so has he. Yep. I tell you what, we've got some, we're talking about try of the month contenders. You've got uh, contenders for man of the match, haven't you? I better know where it's going. There's only one, uh, there's only one bottle, isn't there? I better know where it's going. You're Harrison saying, Hansen. You said I'm biased. First. You're the chairman of the Move union, him. sir. Go. You've got another one next door but one to you as well, <clears throat> Mr Noble. I would say we've got two on the gantry, Go. so it, uh, Move. Oh. you're giving the game away. I wonder whether the, the man of the match might emerge in the next three minutes. Farrell. Oh. Police. Three. Well, that's a penalty, and the referee agrees. Badiris oh. all over him. Could he go hero to zero? Mossop will drive it forward. Oh, we thought about move. stretching the arm out. Lulawai. Here is Finch. Oof. Went down and was clattered by Wella Huraki. Lulawai. Short ball. Great Leeds defence. 
three tackles gone, three in the bag. Time running out, we're going to need to score. They might with Prescott, they will with Prescott. We're set up for our last two minutes. Prescott with the try. Wonderful move as well. They utilised the dummy runner. And Thomas Lulawai could see that Prescott had no one in front of him directly, and he squeezes in at the side of the post. Get on with it, boy, come on. Don't mess around. Only the second try of Paul Prescott's career. The gap is two points. Well, surely there is not a stink in the tail, is there? That's why we call it a funny old game at times, but there weren't many Wigan fans laughing. Maybe the opportunity is there. Leeds, they're taking their time. OK, the time's off by the referee, no, Richard Tewan. Not, not yet, it is, it is now, now, because the touch judges had to get back in their positions before he called time off. They're going to get a set of six, Wigan. Surely not. Surely not. They were completely out of the game. Here come Wigan then with Roberts. They've been completely out of the They've scored three tries in 13 minutes. One in the last minute will do them. Here's Hansen. Bumps off one tackle. Tries to get away from another. Kirk hounds him down. Keep it alive, they've got to try everything. Finch goes wide. Roberts. Come on. Good work by Watkins and Sinfield. Roberts again, they've got two tackles remaining. Finch's ball finds Tompkins. They've got a man on the other. Tompkins is cutting through them. Wide they go. It's Golding. It's Tompkins. It's Tompkins. To... And this is Farrell. And he's just short on the last now. Unbelievable finish. Leads it out on their feet and it's he's given a penalty. Will they take the two points? Will you go for it and take the draw? Oh, the ref the coach wants the two. The coach wants the two. Time's up. Well, that's why. That's why. That's why he said take the two. He must have seen the big screen and the fact that the time had run out. The players were about to take a quick tap. Well, what a run from Tompkins it was. My mistake, not Golding. Tompkins down that line. What a dive for the line by Mossop, uh, Farrell. Well, I'm getting all over the place here, but what a run here. There it is, Tompkins. Look at Barrow, just got there. Sinfield and uh, it's Ryan Hall as well. Oh, Jamie Jones Buchanan. <laughs> he can't believe it. Max. Max cannot believe it, neither can any of us here. This will be grand larceny. I don't, I don't agree, Eddie. Wigan's composure and approach in the last 25 minutes... Yeah, I think they've been outplayed, Phil. <laughs> I know you're saying it's a tremendous comeback. Oh, it's of, And I know that the Wigan oh, fans good. won't like me for saying this. It's of St Helens proportions. But That's what champion sides well, do. Well, yes, I mean... Leeds have done it to teams for the last five years and brought their hearts. Wakefield, a great example. Well, it's a very difficult kick, and everyone, apart from the Wigan supporters behind the post, willing him to miss it. Tompkins has rescued a point for Wigan! Absolutely unbelievable here! They cannot believe it, and I don't think Leeds can either. Well, I certainly can't. I've never known a team control it for virtually the full 80 minutes and they've just capitulated in the final seven or eight. He's half-broken, Brian McDermott. He knows that they should have been two points. For 65 for minutes, one. Leeds were in the box seat. Leeds were the dominant force. 18 points in a quarter of an hour and Wigan have come back and pinched a point. Sean O'Loughlin is with Bill Arthur. Sean, dead and buried, with ten minutes to go. How on earth did he manage that? I don't know, I don't know. I don't... Starting that second half, especially the story we had to the second half, we didn't feel like we deserved it, but yeah, we dug deep and the amount of effort we put in that second half, especially in our day, showing up again at the end. That was championship. I mean, it probably won't go down as one of your best performances, never mind this season, but for some time. But to get out of jail like that, you've got to have something about you. Yeah, it was, wasn't a good performance for us, but we've come away with a point and 
Even though we've not played too well, we'll take a lot away from that. Would it be fair to say that it was that bad? Yeah, when you come away with a point, you don't, probably don't think so, but if we'd have lost it, there'd probably been a lot of edge rattling this week. Nerves of steel from Sam at the end. Yeah, that took some gut size, not, not a regular kicker, step up like that at the end and knock that over. Great. Sean, thanks very much indeed. Cheers, thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Anyone else, Bill? Well, that's the view of uh, Sean O'Loughlin, the Wigan captain. To be fair, they have scored four tries to three. To be fair, but three, three of them came in the last what, 15 minutes of a match that they were outplayed in. You, you, you've got to look back at the situation where four tries were disallowed in that first half. Three from a forward pass, the video referee Ian Smith turned one down because Brent Webb was deemed to be within the 10 metres, so he was there for offside. Amazing game. Amazing game, and there's the man of the match. The champagne will taste like warm beer. The Danny